What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. Now today we got kind of a, a different video. I basically just wanna tell you guys about something cool that's happening in the software development space. And I'm a little late to the game. We're halfway through October now. But I wanna to talk to you guys about Hacktoberfest. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have heard about this. Obviously, I think a lot of people have already talked about it, but I just wanted to make sure that every single one of my followers and subscribers know about it. And so I just want to take a few minutes today to kind of give you the rundown on what Hacktoberfest is and how you can participate in this and what you get for participating. Now, Hacktoberfest is a month-long global event celebrating and encouraging um, open source technologies and um, specifically like your ability to contribute to those open source uh, projects. And so it's a really cool cause because open source technology is really what is pushing the world forward right now. And I think it's really awesome to see this kind of come together and bring more attention to open source technology and also hopefully encourage new people that maybe haven't got involved with open source projects before to begin to participate in them. And so it's a really, really cool cause. It's being ran and sponsored by DigitalOcean and GitHub. Now, I just wanna mention that neither of these people are sponsoring this video. This video is something I just wanted to do for you guys to tell you guys about it. But of course, if either of them feel want to send me an email, I would be more than happy to accept some sort of sponsorship, but that's not happening right now. All right, so um, DigitalOcean, GitHub, two amazing groups inside of the open source community are basically sponsoring and you know funding this project. And it's actually really easy to participate. So let's talk about how you guys can participate and then what you get for participating. Well, first let's talk about what you get for participating so you know whether you wanna keep watching the video or not. So basically for participating in this vet, you get a limited edition t-shirt. Plain and simple limited edition t-shirt. It's a really, really cool t-shirt. And best of all, because I know everybody's wondering, um, it's, a global, it's a global event. So you can get this t-shirt anywhere in the world. So I know a lot of people that are outside of like North America and like Europe sometimes get screwed over by some of these events because sometimes it's not applicable in their countries, but this is global. So everybody that is watching or listening to my voice right now can participate in this event and get your limited edition t-shirt. So it's pretty cool. That's the other reason I wanted to make sure that everyone knew about it. Now let's talk about what it takes to sign up, get involved and how to actually get that t-shirt. Now it doesn't cost anything to sign up. Not It doesn't cost a penny or anything like that, but you do need to first sign up. To sign up, you're gonna go to hacktoberfest.digitalocean.com. I will have a link down in the description if you guys want, just wanna go down there and click it and uh, follow the link, it might be easier. But you're gonna go to hacktoberfest.digitalocean.com. You can of course read the details, which I will cover here in about five seconds. And then if you just wanna sign up, you click start hacking you're going to go ahead, you're gonna sign in with GitHub. Once you log in with GitHub, then you are ready to go. That's it, that's how easy it is to sign up. Pretty easy stuff. All right, now let's talk about what you need to do to participate and how you earn and win this t-shirt and just the, the fun of being involved in the global event. So in order to participate, you basically are going to submit four pull requests during the month of October and that's it. Submit four of them before the end of October, and that, that's it. That's all it takes. Once you submit that, then you're going to be able to earn yourself a free limited edition Hacktoberfest 2017 t-shirt. So really cool stuff. All right, let's talk about some of the kind of like smaller rules, but that's really it. Like literally to win four pull requests anywhere on GitHub. Now let's talk about these smaller kind of details just to answer some frequently asked questions. So first of all, this is open to anyone anywhere in the world. Good news. You can submit this on any public GitHub hosted re repository, okay? So it has to be on GitHub. It won't work on Bitbucket or GitLab or anything like that. These have to be GitHub hosted open source projects, which the vast majority of like almost like 99.9% .9 of them are. Um, and then it has to be public. So if you've got a private repository um, or if you're submitting something for work or something, those pull requests aren't gonna work because they're generally private re repositories. But if it's an open source project, it can work. Now last year, and I wanted to mention this because last year when we had Hacktoberfest, you had to contribute to specific um, repositories. And these were repositories that were marked with the tag Hacktoberfest. So you would fi you'd find a repository that had the tag Hacktoberfest 
and then you um, those were the ones that you could participate with. And so only pull requests submitted to those projects counted towards your four total. Now for me, I submitted like a bunch to like random repositories that I was working with, not necessarily to participate in the event, but just because they were the people I was working with. These were just natural pull requests I was submitting, but none of them counted really. I think one or two might have counted, but um, they didn't count. A lot of them didn't count because they weren't like the official Hacktoberfest ones. These were things like Laravel. Um, the Laravel one was on there, I remember. I think Ruby on Rails is on there and um, jQuery I think was on there. There were a bunch of big ones, but these are really big projects. And so I'm really glad they got rid of this. Um, this year it's any public repository on GitHub. Doesn't matter how big it is, if you're the second contributor on there, it still counts. And I think that's really good because Hacktoberfest is really a celebration and encouragement to get involved in open source projects. And I think it's intimidating for newcomers to start submitting pull requests for Laravel or for jQuery and stuff like that. I think it's extremely intimidating. And so I really like this year that you can find packages that are smaller, that are a little more close to home, that are, it's gonna encourage you to maybe finally send that pull request that you've been thinking about doing. This could be the encouragement to do so. And I'm, I really, really, really like that. So again, it's any GitHub repository. It doesn't have to be specifically tagged. Now, some people have gone through and tagged um, Hacktoberfest on uh, GitHub. So if you are looking for something to do, you can look through those tags and find an issue that maybe you could help contribute to. Um, you know, that is already marked Hacktoberfest, but doesn't have to be those, okay? Those are just to kind of help in the discovery of new uh, new repositories and stuff like that. Couple last things, it, if the pull request does not get sub, um, accepted and merged in, it's okay, it still counts towards your total. So you just have to submit the pull request. It doesn't have to actually be accepted and merged into the project. So you don't have to worry about that. Just submitting the pull request is fine. Make sure that it's not spammy or automated when you're, you're creating your pull requests. Any spam related ones will get marked invalid by the package maintainers and those will not count towards your total. And then last but not least, this is kind of weird, but I'll just mention it because it's in the rules. You gotta make sure you write you write the code yourself. Now, I don't know why you would have someone else write the code and then submit it, but hey, just don't do that, I guess, if that was some reason, something that one of you guys were thinking. Um, no, none of, my, none of my subscribers would think that though. All right, so that's it. Pretty simple stuff, guys. Pretty freaking simple. And you submit four of those by October 31st, you get yourself a limited edition t-shirt anywhere in the world. Pretty sweet stuff. Now, just kind of wrapping this up real quick, I also wanted to mention that if you guys want to participate in any sort of group, um, there's a couple of like community events, people getting together to kind of celebrate Hacktoberfest in all of the different fashions all over the world. I will link this um, down in the description. This is a link that is maintained by DigitalOcean um, to a spreadsheet, which has a whole bunch of events all around the world that you guys can go to if you guys want to participate in this event. You can see that there's some in Australia, Brazil, um, there's a bunch of Brazil actually, Canada has a bunch. So we'll see, I actually might be at this one in uh, Vancouver here um, on October 26th. I think I might actually be up in British Columbia then. So I might actually stop by and take a look at this one. So if you guys are in the area, it'd be awesome to meet you. Um, anyway, they've got tons in Canada, tons in France. Oh, there's one in Lille. I used to live in Lille, so Lille is very close to my heart. Um, and they've got a bunch in Germany, India, um, Israel, Indonesia, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, uh, you know, Mexico, Netherlands, Philippines, all over throughout Eastern Europe and Western Europe. There's a ton. So, um, and then even like Southeast Asia, you guys have a bunch too, um, you know, Thailand and Malaysia and stuff like that. So this really is global event. Um, I don't see too many Middle Eastern countries in here, but otherwise, basically every part of the globe is covered in here. And of course, if you guys are in some of those countries that do not have representation, you guys should try to sponsor, create an event, and get it posted up on here. There's instructions on how to do that all on this website. Now, unfortunately, um, the main website, the DigitalOcean website, does not show you progress. It allows you to sign up, but it doesn't show you progress towards your um, you know, how many pull requests so you can keep track of those or see which ones have kind of stuck. So if you guys do want to see your progress, you guys can go to this website I've got linked up here. It's hacktoberfestchecker.herokuapp.com. 
So I would take a look at this. I'll have again a link in the description. Basically what you're gonna go through and do is you're gonna go through and you type in your GitHub username and then we'll show you how many you have. So you can see here, I type in my username and click check and it sees. So, oh, and you can even see here actually, I it looks like I already got one. I didn't even realize I had a pull request for the month, but I did on October, oh, that was only a couple days ago. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot I submitted that. So there we go. I'm already one down. I just have three more to go. So I'm doing really, really good. Um, this was, yeah, I forgot I did that. That one actually got accepted. He accepted it like instantly and merged it into the repo. So um, there we go. So there's one project down. I've just got three more to go. If you guys are looking for any help on some projects, maybe you guys can let me know as well. And I, maybe I could hop over to one of your open source projects and contribute over there as well. Last thing I'll say before we go is I want you guys to help each other. So what I wanted to do here is if you guys have a public GitHub hosted repository or package that you're maintaining, I want you guys to go down to the comments section below and explain what it is and then put a link to it. Now I'm gonna try to stay on top. Sometimes when you submit links on um, YouTube, they they get flagged as spam, and so they get put. I have to they get put like under review, and then I have to manually accept them. So I'm gonna be logging into YouTube the next couple days and accepting those. If I see obviously normal spam, don't do normal spam. But if I see it's a GitHub repository, you guys just want to share it. I'll make sure that those go through. Generally, you're okay if you leave only one link, it usually doesn't cause problems. It's only when you leave multiple links that it gets flagged as spam. Or if you're leaving links on like every YouTube video, then sometimes it'll get spammed even if you only leave one. But normally if you only leave one link, so try to just leave one link in the comments so it doesn't get flagged as spam. And if it does get flagged as spam, I'm gonna take extra precaution over the next few days to make sure I clear out the spam and I get it, um, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it so it gets, uh, goes live on this web page. But if you guys are working on any projects um, that you want help on, tell us what the project is, leave a link to the GitHub page, the GitHub page, not your blog or anything like that, the GitHub link um, to the repository, and leave a comment below so that we can all read them and find it because I'm sure other people watching this video are gonna be wanting to contribute to projects. So if you've got work that you need done, you want some help on your with your package, then there's a whole bunch of people watching this video that also want to participate. So I think it's a win-win situation. So go down there, leave a comment. If you don't see it right away, it did not get, like I did not delete it. It probably just got caught as spam. I'm going to be checking it throughout the day um, over the next week and making sure that any links get you know submitted and uh, get put back on the page. So if you don't see it right away, just know that it's coming. I'll, I'll get to it within... 12 hours usually, I'll, I'll check and make sure it gets put back up on this page. So that's all I got for you guys today. Go out there, have some fun, contribute to open source, and I will see you guys throughout the month of Hacktober.